Alright, I saw this on the internet and I, I did some research and I figured I gotta make a video about my own research looking into the theory that there are in fact two wells that BP drilled. And in fact there's a theory that the well we're looking at on TV is in fact the first well that BP drilled that was abandoned. And so, I figure we got to go to the source of this information. So, uh, right here on the screen you're looking at the official initial exploration plan uh, for Mississippi Canyon Block 252. Alright, now this is a document available on the MMS government website. It's a PDF. You can download it. You can download the entire file. And it tells you exactly what BP planned to do, what they plan to drill, and the exact locations of well A and well B. Okay? This is public information. Alright, so we know that there were two wells. Alright, look it. First page. The first page of this document. Okay? Let me go to the zoom so you can see better. Alright, subject. Public information copy of plan. Type initial exploration plan. Lease. Okay, this is, this is for a land lease for an area in the Gulf of Mexico called 252 Mississippi Canyon Area. Alright, now BP is saying that this is well MC 252. That's a crock, ladies and gentlemen. There is no well MC-52, okay? There's Mississippi Canyon Block 252, in which that area, there are two wells. Description, well A and well B. BP Exploration, all right? And they tell you the type of rig. Attaches a copy of the plan. And this was, they, they, they submitted this to MMS, all right? And it was approved. All right, now let's go. Let's let's go a little further and let's see exactly what the plan was. All right, this is this is serious information. It has to be made common knowledge. All right. Now here, right here, is a uh, a coordinate map of exactly where the wells were. All right, and I'm going to get back to that in a second. So I'm going to breeze past that. Let's go past the table of contents. All right, section one, plan contents. All right, section 1.0, plan contents. Under this exploration plan, BP Exploration and Production, Inc. proposes to drill, and here's the key, ladies and gentlemen, proposes to drill and temporarily abandon two exploratory wells in the Macondo Project area. All right, now this is this is key. They plan to abandon both of these wells from the get-go. Now we know as a fact that there was a well drilled, I believe back in October of 2009, that uh, first of all the rig was damaged in Hurricane Ike, so they had to change the rig, and then back in February, uh, they restarted it I think in January, and then back in February they were having problems with it, and subsequently they had to abandon well A. All right? And that's that is public testimony of Mike Williams. And you can see it all on the 60 minutes document uh, on the 60 minutes documentary. All right? And they say they drilled the well, they had problems and they abandoned it. So they drilled a second well. Is that what I'm to believe? You are damn right it's what I'm to believe. Okay? Now this is just other technical information about the uh, characteristics of the rig. All right. Now this this is the most important piece of evidence. Actually, okay, no. Uh, here's another piece of important evidence. Here's another piece of important evidence. All right. U.S. Department of the Interior, OMB control number. U.S. Department of the Interior. Okay, Minerals Man Management Service. This this U.S. Department of the Interior is run by Ken Salazar. That is the person we should be demanding answers from, ladies and gentlemen. Ken. Salazar, the head of the Department of the Interior. 
So, let's see. Okay, over here they have general information. BP Exploration. Gives you the address, contact persons. Okay. Uh, objectives, oil. See that little X? There's an X in the oil space. That means that that's what, that's what they plan to do. You don't see an X in a gas or sulfur or salt option. Okay? You don't see any of that. So, now let's go down lower. Description of proposed activities. Mark all that apply. X. Exploration drilling. All right? Do you see anything else here indicating that this well was for any other purpose than for exploration? In other words, to find what type of oil and where it was coming from in the Macondo lease of Block 52 area in the Mississippi Canyon. Okay? No, it was not. There was no well completion applied for. No test flaring, no installation of caisson or platform or any other subsea wellheads or manifolds. There's no, they, were, they didn't apply for an installation of a wellhead. Okay? Now, this was an initial plan, so maybe there were subsequent plans that, 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 override, rode, that overrode this. Okay? Now, look. Look at this. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, this is the most damning evidence I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay? Look at this. What is the proposed activity that BP had in mind for these two, for, for the Macondo well uh, area? Proposed activity. Okay? Tentative schedule of proposed activities. See that? Okay. First line. Drill and temporarily abandon well location A. Now, don't forget, we have coordinates in this document of exactly where that is. Second line, drill and temporarily abandon well location B. Now, did they drill well location B? According to witness testimony, they did. And that's what sank the rig. So what about well location A? Is it leaking? What's, what happened to it? Is that the well we're looking at on TV? Because according to Matt Simmons, a blowout usually blows everything to smithereens. And there is no blowout preventer or any of that crap left over. So what are we looking at? Now here, look at this. Okay? Include one copy of this page for proposed well structure. Proposed well structure location. Alright, I'm going to zoom in so you can see that I'm telling you the truth. That's what it says. It says proposed well structure location. Proposed. Alright? Now, did they drill it in that spot? According to the live feed, they did. Alright? Now, I'm going to come back to this in a second. But while it's still there, I'm going to zoom in. This is live footage. And this isn't something that I recorded, that I recorded, guys. This is live right now. I'm watching this right now. This is live footage of the well that they claim is capped, okay? This well is capped because it's well A. How do I know it's well A? Because look at the coordinates, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Now, remember these numbers, all right? I'm going to write them down so I remember them. One, okay, east, one, two, zero, two, um, that looks like a two, uh, one, zero, two, seven, okay, uh, it's changing to two, eight, so it's two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, three, um, actually that's a nine, nine, the camera's having trouble picking that up, but nine, nine, dot, oh, one, the dot, oh, one at the, this dot, oh, one at the end is irrelevant because that's just the, this is such a, an accurate measurement. I don't think that the measurement in the, in the report is that accurate. So now let's look at north. North. Okay. One, zero, four, three, one, six, one, zero. And now it just shifted to one, six, twenty-two. Okay, because the ship is actually moving around in the water. And these things aren't 100% accurate, but it's close enough. Now this rover is sitting right on the damn wellhead. Okay? <laughs> this isn't off in the distance. This is the, uh, as far as we can tell, this is the precise location of the wellhead. Now this isn't, this is not longitude, latitude, coordinations. This is numbers of a coordination map of Macondo Block, uh, Mississippi Canyon Block 252. 